Alrighty. Howdy viewers, it's uh, it's me, AJ, or Spoiled Citrus, if you like. I wanted to try commentating over a speed paint for a while, and uh, I figured I would try it out with this piece. Uh, let me know what you think. If uh, you prefer the royalty-free music over my voice, that's totally cool, I understand. I, I don't have a lot of practice in this. So, this is a charm. Uh, I had this charm actually made at Vograce, and the quality is great, I love it. I have some things that I think might have been mistakes, but I'll touch on those a little bit later. All in all though, if you want a custom charm, I think Vogue Race is very reasonable. They've got a lot of charm types that you can actually choose from, and this is a shaker charm, which is why it's in the shape that it is. I'm not sure if you can tell yet, but it's supposed to be like a circular shape. It's hollow inside, and there can be glitter inside. It's actually pretty neat, it's really pretty. Um, you'll actually see me shaking it around at the end and that's when I'm gonna touch on some of the things that I think might have been mistakes but I think it's because of the charm type I chose. I don't, I don't think that this is something that uh, is typical with most charm types. On to the actual speed paint. This is something that I have attempted a few times. I've actually wanted to make a charm um, for a while and I have a few attempts that I really was not happy with. But, but this one I just decided to pursue. I don't know, I just kind of decided, you know what, this is it, I'm, I'll just go for this. I'm not 100% happy with it now, but I don't hate it, so, you know, that's good enough for me. If you didn't know, this is my muse, his name is Rot. If you follow me anywhere, like on Twitter or DeviantArt, you've probably seen me draw or post about him uh, a lot. He, uh, he makes me really happy despite how much I love to pick on him. I figured he deserved something a little nice for all the torment I put him through, so I was really set on getting him put on a charm. I think right now we're only as far as coloring clothes, but as we move along you'll probably see me scribble out the very rough shapes of flowers and branches. Uh, when I think of rot, the first thing I think of <laughs> outside of angst is flowers. He lives in a forest, and he has an affinity for flowers. Uh, his favorite flowers are orange tulips, fun fact. I don't think I should get too much into his character. There's way too much for me to coherently put into a couple of minutes. Um, but uh, TLDR for him, I suppose, is that he used to be royalty. Uh, he shouldn't have been, but it is why he sort of dresses and carries himself the way that he does. He's a bit of a press, but if you're friendly and polite, then he's got no problems. I've had him since I was 14, uh, but I really started developing him as a character at 18, when someone actually uh, expressed interest in him. I had never had someone genuinely express interest in my original stuff before, and I, I sort of just went ballistic. <laughs> I think we're stuck on the apron. Uh, for some reason, I had a really hard time picking a color for the apron and the gloves. I don't know why. Uh, as Rots developed, his palette in terms of clothes got a bit stricter, and, and I think I just wasn't finding a good mesh between the dark pants and the white shirt. I think I settled on a creamy pink color, but uh, I'll be honest when I say I'm not thrilled with it. In hindsight, I probably should have stuck with the pale green as a callback to his first design, but oh well. Uh, you win some, you lose some. That's how you learn. This is around the point where I start coloring the line art. Typically when I get to this part, uh, everything feels like it's come together. It's how I usually know I'm getting close to finishing the piece. I still have to actually draw the flowers and branches for this piece, but as far as Rock goes, he's basically done. Normally my highlights are limited to shine in the hair and shine in the eyes, but uh, I wanted this piece to feel uh, a little bit more complete, um, so I added a bit of a reflecting light to see if that would help. Um, I, I think I ended up keeping it. Uh, if it wasn't obvious, I had it start out in like a bright neon blue just so I could see. 
uh, my eyes aren't great, um, so typically I, I start out coloring a lot of things like that. I was generally happy with the coloring at this point, and I just wanted to add a couple of white outlines to define some of the pose. A lot of the time I tend to lean back and squint to see if I can discern what my drawing looks like, and I try to see how I can further define it. Long story short, the white lines just help me break it all up a little bit. At this point, I started drawing the grass and the branches. Clip Studio is great for having tools like symmetry. I know it may look lazy, but I go nuts when I try to manually recreate one-sided things. A lot of the times, it, for me, it just looks lopsided or it has strange gaps, and I hate that. I, I personally don't mind how it looks, and it was actually really fun to do. I think I went a little too hard on the branches. I really didn't need that much detail, uh, but the singular brain cell rattling around in my head like a bean in an empty can really wanted to just go buck wild. I don't hate it, I just think it was a bit overboard on my part. There was a lot of indecision on my end about what I'd put where. I wanted leaves, and I wanted flowers, and I wanted petals, and just so much. I really had a hard time finding a decent balance, and I don't think I hit the nail on the head. Uh, but once I get to the tulips and the lily of the valley along the bottom, I'm basically done beyond some color shifting and contrast adjustment. Before we finish up, I will get into what I think may be a little mistake on my charm. This charm has three layers, two for each side facing out, and one layer in the middle that holds the glitter. I think something went wrong in sealing my charm, but it really isn't a huge deal. The charm quality is superb outside of that, and I really do recommend Vograce if you need somewhere to print a charm or a dozen. Uh, but yes, here you go. Thank you for listening if you have. Please let me know what you guys think. I'm not sure I will do more commentary, but we'll see. Until then though, Thank you for your patience and have a good one.